Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to New Brit Workshop. Got a very simple project for you. Uh, if you're getting the path guide system or perhaps have even taken delivery, you might want to put it into a nice little box, uh, maybe go over the top a bit and do something like that. Uh, it's quite useful because it has a drawer at this end. If I pull this out, uh, you can probably see that in here I've got um, the three millimeter uh, pins, uh, the three millimeter drill guide. Under here is a pull out piece. If I pull this out carefully, you'll see there I've got the 20 millimeter uh, bit and also a three millimeter bit just there. That slips in nice and carefully. And there's space here for all your uh, various dogs. That's that end, that's held in place by a magnet. And then at this end, uh, we have a very simple pull off piece here. And in here, you've got the 20 millimeter drill guide and the two path sticks. Right, I've tried to lay this out so you can see the various components. Uh, I've got the 20 millimeter drill guide in there at the moment, but I'm just gonna take it out so that it doesn't complicate the issue too much. So that's it out of there. Now the way that this is made is very simple. I've got here a piece of plywood, uh, which uh, I've cut to the dimension here, which is 42 millimeters. Uh, and then I've trimmed uh, to allow uh, these uh, bronze uh, bushing uh, to go in. Uh, so that's been uh, trimmed out there, as you can perhaps see. Um, I've also uh, then taken a slice out from here, and I did that on the uh, table saw. I first of all did a, a vertical cut there uh, as a trenching cut, uh, and then I did a, a long slice through there. Uh, there are two pieces here which uh, are part of the support arrangement for the um, drill block. And the idea is that there'd be a top and a bottom for all of this. I haven't cut it to width yet, but there would be a top and underneath a bottom. And uh, at this stage, nothing is glued together. Now this piece was part of the piece that came out when I cut through there. So that was quite useful. And the purpose of this piece is to help make the space here a little bigger. And we're gonna have a huge, long pull out a uh, drawer uh, in which we'll keep uh, all the uh, the path dogs and things like that right I've done the initial bit of gluing I've got that strip uh, on there and also I've attached these two pieces uh, onto this part and this is where the uh, 20 millimeter uh, guide block is is going in there like so rather than using this for my uh, construction work uh, I've actually got a distance piece here, uh, which I can use to fit in here uh, whilst I'm doing the assembly. Uh, now, the, the gluing up is going to be um, slightly tricky in that I've got to uh, do it up in stages in order to make sure that nothing is wiggly and uh, everything is in the right place. I've actually turned everything around because I want to start with this piece, which is next to the space where the... Um, path sticks will go and it'll be something like this uh, and uh, in order to make sure that when I glue this on it's going to sit square I've got this piece of wood which I'm going to put uh, behind it and that will help me not only get uh, this piece following the edge as it should uh, but it'll also allow me to get it square. I've now removed this piece of wood um, and I've just cleaned up that glue line and uh, I'm just going to leave it to dry now. Right, I've turned things back the other way and um, I'm now going to continue uh, the rest of the gluing. It is actually getting slightly trickier now because we've got some fairly thin gaps between some of these pieces. And what I've done now is I've got some little spacers in here. This is where the path sticks will go. Uh, and that uh, gap there is about five and a half millimetres. Now each path stick is one and a half millimetres thick, uh, but I'm future-proofing this in case um, someone uh, decides that they need to have a third path stick for some reason or another.
Anyway, I thought I ought to uh, uh, put this on it um, as it's a, a special box, of course. Um, and do I tell you about my mistake? And there we go, the bath good system. That will be on the inside. We can see how this looks now. Uh, in this long thin section here is where the two path sticks will go. Uh, this is where the uh, guide block, the 20 millimeter uh, guide block will go. Uh, now we're going to saw this off here in across there so this will be a cap that comes on the end and so the guide block will be fed in from this end uh, once we've got the lid on uh, and this is the section where we're going to have a very long drawer and it will have this top on it shortly uh, and once that's glued in place uh, then all I've got to do is make the drawer and do the cut at the end but I've got, got one tiny bit of tidying up to do. I'm just going to uh, put this through the uh, mitre saw, not all the way through, just to trim these three off and make sure they're absolutely in line. And the same at this end, I'm going to do a trenching cut, which stops short of this piece here, uh, and just tidy that up. Now, the drawer is uh, in here dry, uh, there's no glue, it's not, it's just everything's loose at the moment and there's not even a front on it. This will be uh, the front. There'll be a magnet holding the drawer in place, which I've got to fit that at the moment. I keep reminding myself I've got to do it because uh, it can't be done after <laughs> the lid goes on. Um, and to open the drawer, there'll be a little finger hole at the end uh, up there and that pulls the drawer out. And then there's some places for things to go. The three millimeter uh, pins are here. Uh, the three millimeter drill guide is here. Um, this is a removable piece which is designed to keep or protect the uh, 20 millimeter drill bit and also is a place to put some three millimeter drill bits. This has got a, a 10 and a half millimetre hole through there. I drilled a 10 millimetre hole and it was just a bit too snug on that shaft and that will just fit in uh, like so and you'll just pull it out when you need to use it. Um, and then fixed in here will be a, a couple of places for uh, the various bench dogs and path dogs here, a little space at the end and a, as a final end piece there. You can see that's just a, a simple piece with a hole in it. I think you can probably see how this was done. I clamped this piece on, uh, drilled through, and then that's that piece done. Now I'm going to use a pair of magnets, which um, one will be fixed to the underside of the drawer and the other will be fixed uh, inside the uh, drawer opening. And they're these round disc type. I've got a whole bunch of them here. Uh, and if you get them the right way round, uh, they will provide a sliding closing action as one slides over the other it will try and center itself if you look if I just move that off center it wants to go back to center it does its best to get back to center so uh, that that's going to work and these are these are 12 millimeters in diameter and I've got a 12 millimeter Forstner bit I can use but I need to work out where the center is going to go so that uh, they match up so this is, again, it's still dry fitted. Uh, I've got a pin chuck here and a very fine drill in there. And I'm going to drill a hole uh, in the center where I want this to go. And that should be all the way through. Yep. And so it's there. So that's fine. All I've got to remember is uh, I'm going to drill on this side. Tip when fitting these magnets, get the pair that you want, uh, join together the way you want them, and put a little mark uh, on the outer sides, like, so you then know uh, which way around they go so they do attract. I've just put the front on the drawer, uh, and this has got a little hole in so that one pulls the drawer by putting one's finger through the hole. And so I've actually put a few screws there as well as gluing it. I'm just about to put the lid uh, on the main box now. Uh, I've remembered that the magnet's there, that's something I kept on uh, worrying about. Um, before I do put the lid on, uh, we will be cutting this through here, and that allows this end to come away so one can get at the contents. And I've measured very, very carefully 
102 millimeters in my case uh, from this end to where I want to do that cut and that's to the left hand side of the saw blade. So I know where that is and I can go ahead and do my gluing. Now one has to be careful you don't want oodles of glue running down into the slot where the path sticks are going to go uh, and similarly you don't want lots of glue running into the area where the drawer is going to be either. Right, there, there it is, the top's glued on. Uh, this drawer needs a little bit of easing, it's just a little bit tight. And I'm just now marking for that uh, cut I've got to do at 102 millimetres from this end. And just a little bit of cleaning up to do, not much. Now, in order for these two pieces to line up when they go uh, together, um, I want to use two little studs which will stick in here and there'll be a corresponding hole in here and the two will help line up. And also I want the, the uh, magnet that's going to hold this in place to be absolutely precisely positioned. What I've done is I've made up a block and it looks like this. Uh, it's smaller than the end section and the way it works is as follows. Uh, the block would be positioned with one face here and one face there. And then I would drill through these holes. Uh, the bottom two are for the uh, dowel. Now, uh, and then when I want to do the other side, I use the other side of this. So one side's used for one and the other side's used for the other. But in order to make sure they're lined up properly, I need to have something on the two faces here. So this is how this fits together and I can now use this here uh, to drill holes in this piece and use this here to drill holes in this piece. And there's that piece with its uh, pair of magnets and the two holes here and the dowels are in this position here uh, and that helps to ensure that when this goes on it goes on in the right place and it stays there. Now, I think the only thing I would change uh, if I were making another one is this uh, plywood which I've used uh, for this uh, part here. Uh, it's fairly soft, it's quite light and I thought that was a good idea at the time uh, but I'd use better quality or even solid wood uh, because when I came to drill out for these magnets um, it just didn't look quite as tidy as I would like. Anyway, there we go. You learn, don't you? I put Osmo on it, of course. I forgot to say that, uh, and uh, that will protect it and uh, keep it looking nice. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.